day before the game, and we're gonna ask our BFFs, Leslie Osborne and Heather Mitz, a little about what they think is gonna happen tomorrow. You must feel a lot of nostalgia, like commentating for the World Cup. Like, how does it feel not being on the field anymore? Yeah, um, you know, I, I was really happy when I retired. It was perfect timing. Um, I do not miss the game, but tomorrow is going to be rough to watch. <laughs> I just I just hope that they can go out there and win it. <laughs> um, I feel a lot of the emotions I felt as a player and being with the girls last few days, I'm like so excited, but I'm nervous. I'm feeling all this different type of emotions, and it's hard because I have no control on what happens yeah. anymore. I just miss the locker room talk, and I want to know like what's going on, like everything. So it's kind of weird to be on the outside, but it's also a really cool place to be because they are my good friends and I'm like supporting them and I am a true fan and I'm breaking down the game but it's so awesome it could be set up so much better than having them here in Vancouver finally for the final it's like it's an awesome relationship I have with them too so it feels pretty cool. And going into the game tomorrow what do you think the U.S. has to uh, focus on specifically but what do you think their main focus should be? I think just uh, continue playing the way they have them. You know, I think uh, use use that confidence to go out there and know that they can compete and that they're the better team and to continue to play well defensively. I mean, that's been our strong suit this entire time. So defensively, go out there, win the ball back, and then build the attack and just have confidence in the ball and have fun out there, you know? Absolutely. So we got to ask you, what's your biggest softball problem? Well, I saw that video that the women did and seriously, I can't name just one. I was like, it is probably, probably the two, I guess would be tan lines. I hated mm -hmm. tan lines. You should see mine right oh, now. Wait, you actually have to show it. Look at that. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> Lori Lindsay used to have one where it looked like she had like a singlet on. Like she was wearing yeah. something, yeah, yeah. like an article of clothing. And so uh, I, I would say that and being a defender, you know, like turf burn or strawberries, and then you yeah. go and get in bed and stick to the sheets. Yeah. And, you know, or you're like yeah. on your pants. Yeah, wear like a skirt or something, and you have this thing hanging on your leg. So it's hot, but you know, it is what it is, and yeah. it's totally worth it. That's it's totally it. totally worth it. My soccer girl prop? Oh my god. My, my thighs! My quads! I'm here! I'm not even playing anymore, and I'm like, God, you know, it's just everything and I dress up every day and have to wear dresses and you know everyone's like oh you have such nice quads and I'm like oh that's your way of telling me I have them, but yeah I know right but I mean they're part of who I am and I guess I'm proud to still have them but at the same time I'm like it would be so fun to have them. <laughs> just, just, just a little bit yeah. all right we're gonna ask you a couple words and the first thing that comes to your mind okay all right US when amazing Japan this Technical. Vancouver. Awesome. <laughs> Special. <laughs> Preseason. Strenuous. <laughs> Grind. Tan lines. The worst. Reality. <laughs> Soccer props. Rocks. <laughs> Love it. Pre-game meal. Carbs. Carbs. Post-game meal. Dessert. Sushi. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so tell us more about Sweat Cosmetics. We've tried it, we love oh, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're pumped to have launched here at the Women's World Cup and all the national team girls have been wearing it. Uh, we have a few players that have, uh, love it and wear it every day, which we're really excited about. We've signed some athletes from other sports because we don't want it to just be soccer, but we wanted to launch here. Um, we're going to start making them for kids too because we're finding that little kids love the brush and it's hard sometimes to put on wet sunscreen on kids. Um, we just want to appreciate all of our customers and with handwritten notes and, and inspiration quotes and really just inspire women to be active and um, empowering women, really. So we know your camp's coming up soon. Can you tell us a little bit about it? I'm so excited about it. I love camp. I don't know about you guys. I used to love going I love to them. I love yeah. having my own. Um, and now that you know, I've, I'm done playing, it's an ability for me to like go and focus on getting out there with the kids. Uh, it's July 11th in Philadelphia where I'm currently living and then July 25th in Cincinnati, Ohio and I do a lot of the things that Carly Lloyd and Jane Solana we all used to do uh, as far as like drills and teaching the skills and the technique and just kind of making it fun but at the same time stuff that they can take home and do on their own. HeatherMitz.com and make it really easy. Cool. <laughs> HeatherMitz.com. Yeah. Simple as that. Hey I'm Heather Mitz and you're watching Soccer Girl Props.